empty and refill the coolant circuit of the auxiliary air conditioning. To do this, first remove the rear wall panel in the cab. Right behind this is the expansion tank. Unscrew this cap now. For the following work, you require this tool set. It consists of the filling unit and its quick coupling and the overflow hose. But you need this for the filling. First, the coolant liquid must come out. Remove the cap on the service valve and connect the quick coupling of the filling unit. Then open the stopcock and drain the coolant. Note, the stopcock must be at least 50 centimeters below the service valve. Close the stopcock. You've now drained about 2 litres of fluid. To fill, there must be 7 litres in the filling unit. So, fill it accordingly. A step ladder helps for the following steps. Attach one end of the overflow hose to the expansion tank and turn on the ignition. Open the small cover plate on the fill unit and push in the overflow tube until it's firmly connected. Now slide the insulation on the return line upwards, because here you attach a clamp. Make sure the seal is leak free. Mount the filling unit and open the stopcock. In addition, the filling unit must be now at least 50 centimeters higher than the service valve. Start the coolant pump using star diagnosis. Let it run until the coolant flows free of bubbles into the filling unit. You can see this easily with a clear tube. If after three minutes the liquid is still not free of bubbles, then check if the clamp is seated properly. Then close the stopcock and undo the clamp again. Turn off the coolant pump with star diagnosis. Wait about one minute until the return line is filled. Meanwhile the liquid level falls in the tank. The process begins again. We call this procedure 2. Close the return line with the clamp and turn the coolant pump on. Now open the stopcock and wait until the refrigerant flows free of bubbles. Then close the stopcock and loosen the clamp on the return line. Let the coolant pump run for another two minutes because now the refrigerant circuit is bled. Check the fluid level in the reservoir. If the level has dropped more than 5 mm below the maximum mark, you have to repeat the second process. You can start with the reinstallation. The filling was successful.